Hello viewers, I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from. So I am going to answer question 21, okay? This is question 21. And this is the mathematics paper 1 which came in, in uh, 2022 for external candidates. So this question is um, from linear programming, okay? So the question is write down three inequalities that define the unshaded region R on the diagram below. So you can see this unshaded region R there. It's the one that they want you to, to describe, okay? So this unshaded region is being um, defined, okay, by three lines. So I'm going to rename this as my line A. Then this one is going to be our line B. This is our line what? C, okay? So uh, before you describe these inequalities, it's important that you take note of the easiest one, okay? So the easiest one from these three lines is line A. So we are going to answer for line A. We are going to describe line A. So when you look at where line A is, it's lying in the X axis, okay? At the point, X is equal to 7, okay? So here you can see, how do I know? You have been given the coordinates here, 7, 3. So the 7, this is the X, what, coordinate. So I do hope that it's clear. Now, how can you describe this line, okay? for line a what you are going to do is since you know that it's lying in the x-axis you are going to write the x like this then you leave space here you write seven because it's lying at this coordinate seven so when you are describing uh this line it's very important that you take a look at the type of the line that you are given what do i mean when i say type of the line we, all, we have two types of lines we have um, this is a solid line okay then we also have this, which is a broken what, line or a dotted line. So when you are describing a solid line, we use uh, less than, equal to, or equal to, or we can use greater than or equal to, depending on the condition of the inequality. And when you are describing this broken line, for this we normally use just less than, or you can use greater than. No need for you to put equal to, okay? Because the so the number where the point is lying is not part of the solution set. But for this one where it's equal to, it means that even the number itself is part of the solution set. So how can we describe line A? What type of a line do we have? We can see there that we've got a broken what line. Okay. So the question is define um write down the three inequalities that define the unshaded region that define the unshaded region so when you look at this line a the shaded region we are having numbers that are greater than seven okay but the unshaded region we are having numbers that are less than seven so we describe using the opposite okay the opposite of uh, this line we are using the unshaded part which is less than so x is less than seven that is the answer for line A. Okay? X is less than 7. So I've used the opposite, the unshaded part. That's the one I've used to define this inequality. So now let's look at the other lines. Now when you look at line B and line C, okay? The easiest one again that we can go for is line C. Okay? Why am I saying line C? Why am I saying line C? Because line C, this is the line Y equal to what? Uh, X. This line C. It's the line Y equal to, to X. So I'm now, uh, I want to define or describe line C. So since we have said this is the line Y equal to X, so you write Y, okay? You leave space and then you write X. So how can we define this line C? So, look at where it's shaded. The upper region is shaded on the upper region. So, the upper region is greater while the lower region is less. So, we are describing it using the what? The lower region which is less. So, we are going to say y is less than or equal to x. Why am I saying less than or equal to x? Look at the type of line that you have for line C. 
it's a solid line and if you remember i said under solid lines we describe them using greater than or equal to or we can say less than or equal to there is that part which is saying equal to okay so this is why i've said y is less than or equal to what x this is for line c now we can come to line what b we can come to line b so i will erase this part just to create space okay remember this is a video if you want to go back you you do a rewind then you see where you are not clear okay now we have come to remember we are remaining with our line b we said this was our line b so to answer line b you can see where it's passing first thing take note of the coordinates you have this 7 comma 3 and you have this coordinate which is 1 comma 1 okay for this line b so what are the coordinates what are the coordinates we have 1 comma 1 then we also have 7 comma so first thing rename your coordinates so this first coordinates here is going to be x1 then this one is going to be y1 for 7 there x2 then this one for 3 is going to be y2 so what's next now after this we are going to use these two coordinates to find the gradient of this line okay so we are going to say formula for gradient we know that it's m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so m equal to what is our y2 our y2 is a 3 right here so i write 3 minus what is your y1 it's here you have a 1 there so 3 minus 1 over what is your x2 your x2 is a 7 minus what is your x1 it's a 1 right here so uh 3 minus 2 sorry 3 minus 1 you are going to get a 2 over 7 minus 1 you are going to get a 6 so from here you can simplify your gradient there because you have 2 over 6 so the highest common factor of 2 and 6 it's a 2 2 here 1 2 into 3 sorry 2 into 6 3 so our gradient is 1, our gradient is 1 over 3. So remember, you can see this, uh, just to describe the three inequalities, it's carrying 5 marks, okay? So if you answer your gradient like this, you'll be given a mark, a mark. So very important, so you'll be given a mark, okay? So what is going to happen here now is... Um, since we have our gradient there, what are we going to do next? Okay, so what we are going to do next is we are going to come up with the equation, okay, of the straight line. So the equation of the straight line, we all know that it's y minus y1 equal to m, open bracket, x minus x1, like that. This is the equation of the straight line so you have two coordinates okay you have one comma one right here you also have seven comma three so between these two coordinates you can pick any it's one and the same you can pick any why are we picking any you just have to pick one when you take note in the formula here you have y1 here then you also have uh then you also have x1 right here this is x1 okay so Meaning, you must have one coordinate for y and one coordinate for x. So you can either pick this or you pick this. You are going to have the same y answer. So let's do this. We have said the formula is y minus y1 equal to y minus y1 equal to m open bracket x minus x1 like this so let's say we pick uh, 1 comma 1 as our coordinate so this one is x1 then this one is y1 then m is standing for gradient okay m is standing for gradient a granted we said you have found 1 over 3 so we are just going to substitute where there is y1 we are going to put 1 
where there is m which is the gradient you are going to put 1 over 3 where there is x1 here we are going to put what uh 1 okay because we are using this coordinate 1 comma 1 if you use 7 sorry if you use 7 comma 3 where there is y, you are going to put 3. Where there is x, you are going to put 7. That is if you use this coordinate. Now we have used this one. Okay. So from there, let's use it in the formula. This y doesn't have anything. So leave it the way it is. Minus. This y1, we have said it's 1 equal to. Gradient is 1 over 3. Okay. Open bracket. This x doesn't have anything there on the formula. Minus your x1 is 1. Like that. Then, then from here, you expand. This 1 over 3 should multiply everything in brackets. So you have y minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3 times x. You are going to have 1 over 3 x. 1 over 3 times 1. Okay, you are going to have negative, negative 1 over 3. Like that. Okay. So I do hope that you are, you are following. Now remember... This one, which is y minus y1, this one right here, should go this side, okay? So, what are we going to have? Let me create space here. So, we have y minus 1 equal to 1 over 3x minus 1 over 3. So, I have said this one has to go this side, okay? So, we have y equal to... 1 over 3x minus 1 over 3. This one is a negative, so this side is going to be a positive what? 1. So you can divide it by 1 so that you have got a fraction, a fraction, a fraction. So y equal to. Now, from there, the common denominator of uh, 3, 3, and a 1, it's a 3 there. So 3 into 3, it's 1. 1 times 1 there. You have 1. Now there is x. So just say you're going to have x minus 3 into 3 is 1. 1 times this 1 on top there it's 1. 1 into 3 is 3. 3 times the positive 1 there on top. You are going to have a positive 3. So from here y is equal to x negative 1 plus 3. We are going to have a positive 2. So remember this 3 denominator is affecting... Uh, it's affecting x and it's also affecting 2. So I've just separated it. So this is the equation. Now remember we are dealing with inequalities. So it means we have to come up with the inequality uh, symbol. So we are going to say y, we leave space here, then we write uh, x over 3 plus 2 over 3. Now remember for this one, x over 3, if you want you can write it like this, 1 over 3x. It's 1 and the same, it's fine, okay? So, what are we, what in y symbol are we going to use here? Remember, our main focus is on this line, this one, which we said this line, what? C. So, what type of a line do we have? This is a solid what? Line, it's a solid line. So, if it's a solid line, we understand that we can, we are going to use either Greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Now, let's look at where the shaded part is. The shaded part, remember I said the upper region is greater while the lower region is less. So the shaded part is less. So we are going to describe this inequality using the opposite, which is the unshaded part. So the unshaded part is greater or equal to because the line is a solid one. So why? is greater or equal to x over 3 plus 2 over 3. So this is our answer. Thank you so much everyone for viewing this content. If you have any question, feel free to inbox me or you leave um, a comment in the comment section. If you are watching this video on YouTube or if it's on TikTok, you leave the comment there. I will be able to, to reply. If it's on Facebook, you also feel free to leave the comment there. Thank you.